Hi everyone, Andrea Vall here, co-author of Facebook Marketing All-in-One for Dummies, and I want to talk about detailed targeting and some of the keywords that are going away from your ads manager starting on March 17th, 2022. Facebook is removing a lot of detailed targeting keyword options for our ads. Some of this is due to the fact that some of the keywords would allow for discrimination or targeting of specific issues that they don't feel are appropriate anymore. But I have seen a lot of keywords that wouldn't be considered discriminatory in some way that are also being removed. And what you're going to see in your ads manager is a big banner that says detailed targeting options are going away and you'll be able to filter on the ad sets that are affected by this change. Starting on March 17th, your ad sets that have these keywords in their targeting areas will actually be physically stopped. So it's a good idea to either schedule new ads to start on the 17th, stop those other ads on the 17th, or just go ahead and remove those targeting options right now. I would suggest running them as long as you can. <laughs> and here's what you wanna do instead of using some of those keywords. You're going to have to rely on wider targeting and using the Facebook pixel to help you optimize. I have been seeing that wide targeting works and things like lookalike audiences, and we're gonna to have to get a little more creative with some of the lookalike audiences that we might pull up. So I wanted to show you a little bit about what you'll see in your ads manager and how to fix it. So you're gonna to go to your ads manager and there's a banner across the top that says some of the detailed targeting options are being removed. You can filter to see the affected ad sets and it'll filter out what, what ad sets are affected. Now these may or may not be in campaigns that you're currently running. You wanna watch that as well. So if I click on the edit button to edit this particular ad set, I can see which ads, which keyword is being uh, changed here. And if I go to edit this area, I can see that Carrie Wilkerson, the barefoot executive, which is just targeting the fans of her page. I don't know why they're removing that option, but they are. So I would just X that out and I would be able to then continue running this with these two particular targeting options. I can also try and find some more. I might take a look at the suggestions area and see what they have here as other options and see if I wanna add any of these other targeting options there. But I would say that you wanna keep those targeting options like uh, connected and together. So if I'm targeting the fans of Mari Smith or the fans of Social Media Examiner, I wanna kind of make that these uh, options similar. So I might also choose, for example, Kim Garst, since she also does talk about social media in, in that space. And maybe I would have a different ad set to test some of the other keywords separately. So then I know which group of keywords is performing well. So the thing that you want to do instead is you might want to just rely on the fact that the pixel, whatever you're optimizing around, is going to help you uh, reach the right people because Facebook learns the type of people who opt into that pixel. So if I have my pixel opti optimized around this particular conversion event, which is a custom conversion, it will know the type of people that... Uh, that um, opt into that, but again, you do have to prioritize that particular event in your uh, aggregated events area so that you are getting that tracked properly with iOS 14 and up updates. So I would probably rather optimize around something like the lead pixel when I've put the lead pixel on this page rather than track with a custom conversion. And that's going to allow Facebook to learn the types of people who become leads on your page and that kind of thing. So let's talk about other things you can do to uh, target your ads. What I would do more of is lookalike audiences. And you can get a little creative with the types of lookalike audiences that you have. So for example, I might create an audience of my top 10 website visitors, top 10% in terms of time spent, and create a lookalike audience around that. 
I might do a lookalike audience of 1%. I might also test 2%, again, getting a little bit wider, maybe even 5%, getting a little wider still and using the Facebook pixel to help optimize that ad set. So I'm gonna go ahead and look at the types of audiences that I might create here with custom audiences. I might create some interesting website audiences where I've got uh, all website visitors or people who have visited specific web pages as long as I have enough visitors to those pages, time spent, or I might, um, create lookalikes around people who've already become leads and things like that. So you want to get a little creative with your lookalike audiences. I'm also going to perhaps segment my email list, uh, upload a list of customers, upload a list of people who've opted into certain lead magnets, and then create lookalike audiences from there. So we are not going to be able to use as many keywords in our ads, but I am seeing that the Pixel optimization is working pretty well as Facebook continues to learn the type of people who are going to convert on your website. All right, everyone. Hope that was helpful. Talk to you again soon.